What's up everyone? So we got a few fish to move around today. You know, we've been having some fish wait in quarantine. So we're gonna go ahead and get them moved into their new homes today. Alrighty, first up, we have all these fish in this tub over here. You've got this albino iridescent shark, the two albino pakus, this big clown knife, and the arapaima. So let's go ahead and start moving what we can, clear out some room. Bam. Here we go. First up is going to be the paku into the 3000. Oh, that is what they do best. And that's make some splashes, make a mess. Look how itty bitty that Paku is compared to some of our giant ones in here. But nonetheless, he will be able to grow and turn into a giant himself someday. All right, that was the small one. Let's go ahead and get this big one. Bam! Hey, hey, hey. Got me right in the face. Haha, <laughs> dad's over there complaining I got him with fish water. Oh, watch it, bud. Go ahead, swim out of the net, not in the net. There you go. So he is just a tad bit bigger than the other one I just put in here, but still significantly smaller than all the rest of the Paku. All right, so another thing you guys did not notice is uh, we actually caught Mr. Godzilla out of the monster pond. You guys might have seen the, the video of Brian catching them out. Well, we put him in this 3000 in here and uh, we can actually see him again. He's doing quite well. He's not uh, bothering no one, but he just kind of hides in that back corner. We have to get these lights fixed up here, but we put this giant 11 foot long frag tank up here and we kind of decided not to, to use it but right now it is in our way i can't get to, to them lights to replace them so i'm not gonna stuck on on that whole ordeal right there but godzilla is in this tank and he is doing well we can see him now and here goes that flathead catfish you don't see him all too, too often but now he's been hiding at this uh, log here, sitting right up front. So everyone is growing. There goes that vulture cat. You guys can see all these fish. We put put in here, and so, sometimes we get rid, rid of fish too. That this 3,000 is a, a tank of fish that you know we can rehome if uh, we find the the right home for them. We won't just give them to anybody, but if the right person comes along with the right tank, right pond, and I feel like it is a better home than I can offer them, then we will go ahead and rehome them. Just like, you know, Brian Barczyk is opening that new public aquarium, and uh, he's actually being helped by some of the best people in the industry, so we know his systems are going to be top-notch and superb. So once those tanks are up and going, we're actually going to unleash a large amount of fish here at the re rescue to help stock his new public aquarium. So we're going to have tons and tons of room for new activities. Check it out. All right, now we have the Arapaima. Ah, he's going to be a bit harder. He just loves to flop around. Here we go. Into your new tank, my friend. Look at him. All right, so as you, you can see, we've got to fatten him up a ton. I did start getting him to eat in that tub, so he is starting to eat our food. As you can see, he's got a little bump in, in his tummy, but he's nowhere near as fat as that guy. So now that he's in a larger tank, We'll go ahead and get him eating crazy, and then we can go ahead and start watching him grow. You guys might no no notice that the other Arapaima is not in, in here. Well, I've caught, that's one that can't game in, and uh, he has not been eating so well for, for the past you know few, few weeks or so. I told you guys I had a little concern about him, 
Well, I, I did treat this whole, whole tank. I, I feared that he had an internal parasite of some, some sort. And we went ahead and treated this whole tank 600 gallons with uh, General Cure. That is Metro and Prazi Pro should take care of internal parasites and it did not do so, so well. So I wasn't sure if the dosage wasn't right on the 600 gallon or he had something else wrong with him. So I brought this guy over into this 150 here and uh, I've just been hitting him with medication after medication to you know rid him of whatever it might be because that ever since we we got him he just has not e eaten well whatsoever so i'm trying to give him his best foot providing chance you, you guys can see them bu bubbles on, on his head that that is signs of uh uh sickness of so some sort some might say it's gas bu bu bubble di disease and i don't really that think it's that but I do believe he's got some sort of internal parasite that's why he's lo looking a bit slim he has no uh, a appetite but he, he he still has great cut color he still swims around he's do doing good I've just got so much medicine in this water as you can see today I used uh, mer Merisai to try and get rid of any parasites in the, the water because obviously the Prazi Pro is not working whatsoever so i'm going to pair this medicine with you know anti-parasites and anti-bacterial try and hit it from all ends because personally i don't know what it it, it is i mean you know so, sometimes even the best of us in the hobby are still stumped and this guy right right here i have not been able to heal and he eats like once a, a, a week or so he eats just enough to stay alive so I am absolutely trying everything here to save our friend. I want him to get fat, get big, and grow big, big and strong and join our friends out there in the monster pond. All right, we've got the big jumbo clown knife. Ah, ah. I call, call him big jumbo, others might call him monster because he is a monster clown knife. Look at him. All right, bud. You've got to come out of the net. But he looks big outside of there. He comes in here, and I've got clown knives that are larger. You know, that happens all the time when people bring in fish. They think they've got a huge, massive fish, and then they bring them here, and they're like, wow, you guys have some that are larger. Yes, we always do. Oh, net almost just clocked me in the head. Look at that. <laughs> All right, so he should be able to make himself right at home. There is one, two. There's a lot of clown knives in, in here. Three, four, so five, six. Yeah, there's just, just a ton. Seven, so he might he'll make seven or eight. So he'll be able to live in this 4400. The African tiger fish is doing great in here. Everything else seems to be getting along as it should. And you guys know some time back, I to told you about our, our boy Anubis, the Oscar, back there. Well, I think his uh, condition's getting a little worse, so I feel like he's go going to cross the Rainbow Bridge here pretty soon. But that's all right, you know, that's something we de deal with here at the rescue. Always new fish coming in. Sometimes we have to say bye to some of our old friends. This black arowana is definitely putting on some size over here. And this Giardini arowana, look at him. Beautiful fish. They are getting just too big in here. I might have to remove some of these guys here soon. You know, it says a thousand gallon. Most people would dream to have a tank that this size. And we've got fish that are just outgrowing it left and right. So before we get off here, I just want to talk about something else. So we've got a few things that we still have to do in the coming weeks. For one, fatten that air pima up. Two, we still have to move all of these tanks. We got rid of three tiers. So we got to move the stack over there, move this stack over, and bring the 135s in. But this weekend, I have to get in the tanks and clean them. Got to clean the glass on here. Got to clean the glass on here. 
and the two 1800s over there is my main concern. And then I can go ahead and swap the socks on this uh, sock table up here and be able to get the water back to sparkling clean and crystal clear. So that is my plan for this week weekend. I might be able to get some of the tanks moved by then, but we shall see. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We will catch you in the next one. Stay fishy, my friends.